Hey there, this is Eli G. Brown slash Sonic Jr. and Sarah here with a review on an official Hero Factory combiner. This is the Hero Factory Wave 1 combiner model of the villains. This is using parts from Drawblade and Toxic Reaper and Splitface. Well, of course, if you did get all three of those sets, uh, you would be able to use those parts to build this guy. However, this was just built using a bunch of parts that I got off at Bricklink, and some parts that I had already with me. And, well, uh, uh, hold on a moment, hold on. Uh, uh, someone was waving a letter underneath my door, but I'll just get back to that later. Uh, good thing that I didn't have to turn the camera off for a minute there to go over there to because you know how sometimes someone's knocking on the door and I have to interrupt the video to answer them and then go back to the video but I was lucky for once I didn't have to do that anyway getting back to this character uh, well he is said to be a mutated uh, uh, mining, uh, robot, I'm not quite sure, and he's also said to be a sworn enemy of Black Phantom, uh, of course he's got this, uh, he's got the head from Jawblade, uh, right there, and, uh, well, he's got these, uh, got these claws at, at the front, these are, uh, well, uh, if you got the, if you combine the intended sets together, these would have come from Toxic Reaper, but in this case, it's these are from the 2008 Shadow Matoran sets. They're kind of a little old because uh, they kind of slightly broke in use, uh, so there are just some tiny cracks in, in these feet because of their use. I may get better ones off of uh, Bricklink or someplace, uh, but for now, uh, these are pretty much what I will have to go by. It probably is best if I stick with these, because w what other use would I have for them then? Uh, um, now, of course, with the extra wide uh, armor pieces right here, uh, the ones that come in black on Toxic Reapa, uh, the instructions online say, uh, to use, uh, three of these pieces in black. However, there is a quiet error with that one. Because, if you get all the pieces from Toxic Reaper, and all the pieces from Splitface, and all the pieces from Jawblade, the only, you'll only get two parts in this color. I think that was a mistake, and that the third piece uh, in this mold and this color was meant to be in gunmetal gray, which there is one in split face, but only two in toxic reaper in black, and one in the gunmetal gray in split face, and Jobly doesn't have any at all. He does have this launcher here. I'm not going to demonstrate how it works, because you've seen how it works before. I don't know how many of you out there have actually built this combiner. Uh, took me about a couple weeks to, or uh, about a month to get all the parts needed to build this combiner. Now, of course, if I just got another split face and another Toxic Reap and another job laid just for this combiner, I would show you what parts were left over, but I, I really cannot do that. Although I will tell you that you will get uh, a lot of the translucent green uh, armor pieces from Toxic Reaper left over, and same with his head, and uh, those green weapon pieces that Toxic Reaper has. And you're also going to be getting uh, those uh, three, uh, those ball pieces that were first used on Waspix. Uh, you're gonna get whatever ones were left over from Toxic Reba. And you'll also have Split Face's uh, mask, uh, mask halves left over, and his head left over, 
and his gunmetal foot left over, and Jawblade's hands would also be left over, and, well, that's pretty much all that I can come up with. You would also have that translucent red, uh, armor piece and the six long size that comes with jaw blade left over those are about all the parts that i can describe would be left over if you did this combiner with those three three that sets now of course uh one question here is that this is a villain and yet he uses these Hero cores here. Now, of course, with uh, both Breakout Wave 1 and Wave 2, even the villains include a hero core. It's because they have a code on the back of them that you can enter in the Hero Factory online game uh, to get points to upgrade the heroes on the game. Uh, and, well, of course, I just got the the ones that I got from many of the 2012 Hero Factory sets that i gotten. Uh, now, of course, here is his nemesis, the, uh, the rookie, who is a combined model of Ferno, Evo, and Surge. Well, the official version of him is. This one is just a revamp, my own version. You've seen this guy in this style in my video showing a bunch of Hero Factory mocks that I did. I did improve this guy a little bit when I did the review on this character, but since that video I've done a uh, larger improvement, such as spray painting the mask in, uh, in lime green, because, well, Evo already has that mask in yellow, and I really don't want this guy to look too much like an Evo ripoff, so I really wanted to make him look very, uh, distinctive, uh, of course, it would be kind of a bother to try to combine this, these two characters together to create a combiner model, uh, of course, both of these characters already are combiner models, uh, of course, maybe make a combiner model of combiner models, yeah, of course, you would only have to use the parts that were included, in, in making the combiners, uh, and not any leftover parts, uh, from making the first two combiners, but I'm not gonna bother with doing that, but if you want to, feel free to. Uh, and of course, uh, we have not, as of the time of this video, determined what the names of these two characters are. For now, we just know that this is, a uh, rookie hero. And this is a mutated villain. So, thank you for watching, and, uh, well, if you like this combiner model, you can go ahead and build him, but if you don't like this combiner model, well, you don't have to build him. I mean, that's how LEGO works. Uh, if you like a model, you can build it, but if you don't like it, you don't have to build it. So thank you for watching, and I will talk to you again real soon.